Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tanya, and this is my daughter Savannah. Today we um, we have to drive her to an appointment, and on our way there, we're gonna stop and get coffee at Dunkin'. What else is new? Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I thought we would vlog this. Savannah has a little story time for you. <laughs> Dude, I saw a video, though, of a girl who got a bunch of plastic surgery, right? And her lips are so big now that she can't drink or eat. Like, she spills every time she tries to take a drink of something, and she can barely talk. Why would anyone do that? Like, her lips are bigger than her face. Well, why would even a doctor do that to someone? I don't know, because someone in the comments was like, um, I'm a... I, I do fillers and stuff, and whenever someone comes in that I think has had too much, I turn them down. She, yeah. says I, she says, I have to turn down people all the time, but I do it because if you have too much, it's going to affect you. Yeah. Man. So, but anyway, so I was at work yesterday. Oh, weird lighting. Sorry, y'all. It's like bright and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's really bright out today. It's freezing cold, but it's So it's like out. hitting my face in a weird yeah, place. Damn. <laughs> um, but basically I was at work yesterday and three of us were working until 730 and you know it's you know when you work in food they cut people a lot and it's super slow lately so they've been cutting people's hours but they've been making me work six days in a row and i i'm like i need the money but like come on <clears throat> so basically my favorite manager was like which one of you want to go home and i was like if no one else wants to i will go home right now please and um my this, other this is your first time ever volunteering though right because i think all the other times other people just got i volunteered when i first got the job but okay. sometimes what happens when i get cut usually it's like they usually are just like go home mm -hmm. they just tell me to yeah. i don't really they don't ask They're just like go and it's not a bad thing when you work in food it just it, they need to get rid of people so um no sense in having 25 people in the kitchen when there's two customers right right because that's high labor, like, they're going to have to pay all those people to stand around and do nothing. So, um, basically, I guess we'll call her Jay, my coworker, was like, uh, no, I get to go home first because I showed up in half, a half an hour early. Now, at my job, we have a rule where you cannot clock in even a minute early. You have to clock in at your assigned time because of high labor. And so I've gotten yelled at for clocking in literally at, like, 59, like, a minute early. She clocked in 30 minutes early because her bestie was the manager. Because um, one of our managers is like her best friend, which is bad. And this girl is a crew trainer, which means she has more responsibilities. She has a little bit higher pay. And she is the worst crew trainer I've ever seen in my life. She's irresponsible. She, when she trains people, she um, will like make the strangling motion behind them when other people walk by Seriously? And she, yes and she yells at them and says they're horrible at their jobs behind their backs when it's their first day working and like when she trains them she trains them wrong so none of them have, know how to do their job properly and you know when they're training and whatever she just takes over and does everything without letting them do anything and it's it's horrible she's a bad crew trainer so a lot of people have been trying to get her demoted back to regular crew but anyway, um, she was like, I get to go home early because I work an eight hour shift and it'll be an eight and a half hour shift since I got here a half hour early. And I look at her, I goes, I was, I go, no one asked you to be a half hour early, number one. Number two, you didn't have to clock in even though you were here in a, a half hour early. And number three, you were an hour and a half late because you slept in over the weekend and you do that every single weekend. So, honestly, you're just making up for the time that you were late as a crew trainer who's supposed to be setting the example. So I just start going off on her about all the reasons she shouldn't get off early. Because she gets off early all the time because any time they offer, she's like, let me go home. Let me go. Let me go. Me, me, me. I'm like, oh my god, you're 27 years old. Work. And my manager was like, get it, Savannah. Go, Savannah. Yeah, get her. Tell her. So I kept telling her. And then she was like, Savannah, you get to go home. Jay was like, you bitch. And was like watching me walk out and I was like, I win. Cause she couldn't say anything back. That's the thing. I was going off on her about all the reasons why she's a bad employee. And she literally couldn't say anything about me. So she also will like call off of work to go to the movies or 
to, uh, you know, do something with her family. And it's like, when you're working to make a living, you can't really do that all the time. So, and whenever they need her for an extra shift, she never takes it. And it's like, I understand if you're a regular crew and you do that, but like, if you're accepting crew trainer, you should at least want to work. And I'm not saying I'm any better. I'm just saying there are better people at my job who are more capable of that position than she is. Yeah, she doesn't. She definitely didn't earn the position. Yeah, and I think they just saw that she was good at her job somewhat, and she's been working there for a while, and we're like, oh, let's make her crew trainer. Well, I think the biggest issue is the fact that she's best friends with the manager, and that's the biggest problem. Right. Because she never, I don't think, ever would have gotten a promotion at all if it weren't for that anyway. Yeah. And, like, it's not that she's horrible at her job, because certain positions she is good at, because she's been working there for a long time, but, I don't know, her, like, the, her bestie that's all, my manager is trying to make her a manager, too. And all of us are saying if she becomes a manager, we are quitting, because we cannot deal with her as a manager. Like, no. She's also, like, nitpicky about things that even the managers don't care about. Yeah, she's very... She got into almost a fist fight with one of... A few of my coworkers over the fact that she was touching their stuff. And the manager that was working was, like... Because we have a rule you're not supposed to really leave your jacket, like, up front. Because a lot of people will leave their jacket on the, the cart because they don't want to take it all the way back. And they might get cold. And so... Jay took the liberty of grabbing everyone's stuff and moving it and just throwing it to the floor in the crew room by herself. So people were mad about that. And the manager was also letting some of the employees eat um, some of the extra food that was left over. And Jay took them and threw it out. So they were obviously mad about it. Hi, I need a large vanilla iced coffee with cream and sugar and two pumps of caramel, please. Well, I was supposed to sleep in today. Y'all, I don't go into work till 2. It was supposed to be my day to sleep in. And then I have an, a doctor's appointment at 10 a.m. And Skyder gets off early today from school. Lucky him. Yep. He'll be home a little around noon-ish. Yeah. Y'all, I feel like if I had a sit-down job or, like, a job I enjoyed, I could last, like, 10 hours at the job. But at McDonald's six hours and i'm already like oh my god i can't be nice to customers anymore like this is so hard <laughs> i mean even at like an office job you can have days where you're like oh my god i'm so over this yeah yesterday was really easy though because we had no one y'all we didn't even get a lunch rush yesterday can you believe that really Mhm. Mm no lunch rush like we got a small one but it wasn't a rush it was just like kind of a regular amount of people. I mean, yesterday was Wednesday, maybe in the middle of the week, people. Yeah. But like, when they said the winter time slows down, I kind of didn't really believe them that much, but it does. It's, you would think it would not. We didn't have our Happy Meal hour. That's so funny about the Happy Meal hour. So yeah, that's I know. probably something I never really thought about, but she said that around the time that the kids, the kids get out of grade school, because mm -hmm. Here, the grade schools get out like an hour before everybody else, and so at the gr at the time that the grade schoolers get out, all of a sudden there's tons of moms in the drive-thru getting Happy Meals for their kids. Yep. Happy Meal hour, which is usually between like 2 and 3.30. So. We were never that family that did like fast food during the week a lot, unless we were out already and we went inside to eat we didn't really do the whole let's go to the drive throughout the school and go home we didn't do that yeah we never did that yeah yeah y'all never really did that if especially it wasn't like you picked me up from school and then took me through the drive through especially because our school is like way closer to our house anyway mm -hmm. but it was more of like if we were gonna get happy meals that night it would be you took me home but then on his way home from work he would dad would bring us food or something yeah or we would or, go or through we will, together or we would go to one of the mcdonald's with like play place. Um, a play place in it and then take you guys to play you yeah know? honestly it's you ever think about that how like our family we used to have like a almost like a schedule of how we did dinner because we would do tuesdays or saturdays at denny's Y'all, we used to eat at Denny's, like, almost every week. Well, it's... It was, like, our, our, our thing. Like, Friday night pizza and stuff, we did Saturday night Denny's. Do you know where we're going? I do not. 
but we'll figure it out together. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we used to do Denny's because it was kids eat free or something mm -hmm. on Tuesdays and Saturdays. And we loved the waiters. Yeah, the waiters at that time were really, really good waiters. And then also, on, I think on Saturdays they would have a balloon guy come and make balloon animals. They did. I forgot about that. Yeah, so that was why we would go to Denny's a lot, but the Denny's here uh, has changed dramatically. The food is not good anymore. The waiters are not good anymore. The chefs are not good anymore. Yeah. It's horrible. Honestly. And it sucks because Denny's was my favorite restaurant. I was so obsessed with the cheese fries. Even oh, if I was yeah. getting breakfast they for dinner, work. I would make my dad order cheese fries for the appetizer because mm -hmm. I was obsessed yeah. with them. They still to this day did have the best cheese fries. Um, it just at, sucks because now, like, their portions slowly the got portions. smaller and smaller, yeah, and was, we shared them. Mm -hmm. That was the problem with the fries, was that the portions got real small, mm -hmm. but you would still pay the same price. Yep. And nowadays, it's probably more expensive, actually. Oh, shit. <laughs> was it? It was I was looking for numbers, not names. Hey, it's Josie's car. <laughs> Could you imagine if he was here? Oh my god, what's the license? Wait, where's the door? Okay, so Savannah's done with her appointment, um, and we ran through a Jimmy John's real quick. Um, so Savannah could get some to eat, and they messed up the order. Mm -hmm. Literally, there was no one else in the drive through It's 10.45. I, I asked twice for my sliced wheat bread and they gave me the regular bread and I'm, I sound like such a snob, but like I wanted the sliced bread today, but whatever. I don't eat a Jimmy John's, so I don't. I was trying to be healthy, but you know. I have to pee so bad. So do I. Yeah, but I mean, you were just in an office. You could have peed, like, if you really wanted no. to. I just was sitting in the car waiting in the parking lot. <laughs> and I suppose I could have gone in the office to use their bathroom, but mm -hmm. that would be very weird. Well, also, where would you go? Because it's divided by suites. I had to fill out paperwork, and I don't think I did it right. I'm scared because I am i don't, I never fill out paperwork. If you do something, if you messed it up, then you can fix it. It's fine. They literally never have me fill out paperwork anywhere I go. But they literally ran through the, they said, are your parents alive? Yes. Are your grandparents alive? Two of them. Which ones? Grandpa on my mom's side, grandpa on my dad's side. Oh, it's usually the women or the men that go first. I was like, yeah. How'd they die? Are your living grandparents healthy? I, I've never been asked so many questions about everyone else's health, like in detail before. They're like, they're like so the nurse, she was like, you use drugs of any kind, including marijuana. And I was like, just weed <laughs> and she was like see i'm glad people can start being honest because honestly i hate the fact that we even have to ask the question like do you drink i was like occasionally she's like yeah see everyone does it but yeah basically i was actually honest about my, oh my God. recreational marijuana what else is going on today um so you have to work at two <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. I guess I have to drive Savannah to work later. I don't want to go to work. I don't know. What was I going to say? She was just going through it. She goes, I bartend at night, so I'm really tired. And, you know, she tried to put the blood pressure cuff around her neck, like her, like a stethoscope. She was like, oh, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> at least it'll be a little warmer today. Than it has been. Yeah. So maybe you won't. Like, have you been freezing cold at the window at work? No. Oh. Because they, oh my god, they have heaters on at the window. Mm. And yesterday they had it at 89 degrees. I was dying. It was so hot. 89? 89 degrees just on me. Oh, I would be pissed. And I could feel it. So she changed it. She took it. She turned it down because she was like, it's too hot. That, yeah, that's way too hot. I was like, that's way too, too hot. hot. Like, I have to keep the w window open. It's really cold in the lobby though, so when I take my break, I'm freezing. Like, it, it can be 20 degrees outside, and we will still have our heat set to 68. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't need 89 degrees on me. Yeah, that's a lot. <sighs> I don't even know how I ever used to uh, sleep in a waterbed, because you could 
uh, adjust the temperature on a waterbed uh -huh. and warm up the water, and I would have it on the highest setting every night. Nice. Never once, never once turned it down. Why? Because when I was younger, like my body uh, was so used to warm temperatures because my parents kept the house really warm when I was younger. Mm -hmm. So that was normal for me, that warm temperature. And then it was after I started dating your dad and stuff, we moved in together and um, slowly over time, like now, now I get hot easily, but I, I didn't yeah. used to, I used to get cold very easily. Yeah. Honestly though, like I have to sleep in a cold bed and I also like cold fabrics. So like, that's why I like satin and stuff because it feels cold and smooth and I like that. That's what she said. All right, well, God, I'm, I'm so sorry about this lighting, guys. It's so awful. Every time we do any kind of car vlog, the lighting is, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed our little morning errands or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if you enjoyed it, please give it a like. Uh, subscribe if you haven't done that yet and check out my discord if you're interested in joining the link to it's in the description and we'll see you next time bye boobies